Well, rolls another season comes around again. You've had a, a quite a well documented off season. A lot of things have happened, a lot of comings and goings. But at this point, how do you stand? Oh, good. We've had a really good pre-season. The new additions have been fantastic. Um, and so we've got all the work done that we wanted to do. I think the week in Portugal was was very uh, you know, very good for us. When we, we, we put all the pieces together. Uh, we had a little bit of time there. Obviously, we bonded more as a group because we've got some new players and, uh, and, we, and, and we're ready to go. Is it exciting as a coach when you've got a, a new group to work with, five or six incomings? Is it like having a new set of toys? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I think uh, I think what, what's good is you're meeting new people and and you get you know ultimately new relationships and friends and, and we want to see them do well. So uh, it's our job now to, to try and bring the best out of people by giving them encouragement and confidence and uh, you know obviously coaching as well. So uh, yeah, it's, it's exciting for them reasons. We want to see people do the best and uh, wearing a sulphur shirt as well. And there is quite a bit of continuity in your squad. You've kept some players in there that know the club very well, have, uh, have got a real relationship with the club, the likes of Briley, Sneed, Watkins. How important have they been to kind of bed those new lads in? Brilliant. Um, yeah, like I said, Callum, Sneedy, uh, Ryan have been fantastic. But I think we've got a fantastic group. We, you know, we, we're, we're very conscientious about making sure we've got uh, good lads within the team. Um, and, and and they do the job on and off the field, and like you said, them, that leadership, uh, them leadership qualities of the, the individuals we just spoke about, uh, has, has really come to the, the forefront. And uh, they're, they're our salesmen, if you like, and uh, you know the new additions soon bed in and soon uh, you know latch onto what they're about, and they represent the club, and that and, and that and that chain goes through. So uh, I think from top to bottom, we've, we've uh, you know we've got a good group, and, and like I said, we're really excited and, and happy with the group we've got as well. How has it worked for you? Have you bought players in that kind of suit the style of football you want or are you having to tinker and adapt a little bit to suit what you've got? Um, it definitely some of the boys we've brought in have, have, have been brought in to suit the, the style that we want and there's, there's, there's certainly pieces of a jigsaw that work for us um, and, and anyone that hasn't been that uh, then we've we've learned more about them and uh, you know we'll, we'll try and play to, to suit their strengths and weaknesses as well so uh, we're comfortable that uh, you'll see a Salford side that uh, will continue to express itself, continue to play with a smile on its face and uh, hopefully bring the best out of everybody concerned. It's a brave new world we're living in with the IMG gradings and things like that. Uh, from a coaching perspective, does that give you a little bit of freedom in the way you set your team up? Does it, there's a kind of incentive to, to win rather than just play, go out not to lose, if that makes sense now. Well, you know, you're asking a coach of a team that's always had that uh, philosophy anyway, so it makes absolutely not a jot of difference to us. Uh, that that's the way we we play anyway. I'd, I think I think your institutions, your bigger clubs, that that uh, you know you you join a you join some of the bigger clubs and, and, and you kind of you go with it and go with the floor. Where whereas you know we're we're a lot of lot more of a smaller club and and that allows us to probably. Uh, reflect our personalities and, and our philosophies a little bit more, rather than you know sticking to tradition. So we, you know we're, we're very much we play the way that uh, myself and, and, and Kurt and Chris uh, want to play. It's our it's our blueprint. Um, you know it's been it's been the way I've always coached, and uh, you know I'm not going to change. So for us, it's uh, it's more of the same. Uh, we obviously want to win, but we also want to entertain. It's and uh, I guess if you're asking about IMG, well. You know, entertainment, uh, the industry that they're in. So uh, you'd think we're we're, uh, we're a match made in heaven, really. You guys had five days in Portugal, while the rest of us were weathering Storm Aisha or whatever it was called. Did you get a lot of value out of that? Yeah, loads. And uh, you know, the five days in Portugal was were long days. They were, you know, there was first thing at morning, last thing at night. I can't credit the players enough. We we give them a lot of empowerment and trust, and, and they repay that tenfold with uh, how they apply themselves, how conscientious they are, but how they go about the business. Uh, and like I said before, they they really polished uh, some some of the uh, you, you know the stuff that they needed to just fine tune and, uh, and and we got clarity throughout the group on certain aspects, and uh, and we come back in you know in better shape than we than we went. So it's been. Uh, invaluable to us that five days has been great what does ambition look like for Salford this year uh, again uh, to entertain and win and as, as win everything that, that we take part in so we want to compete I think uh, the promise I'll always give you know I'll never give you um, I'll never give you a spot on the ladder where we'll finish I think for us it's uh, it's about making sure that uh, I can promise you 
as, as supporters, I guess, from talk to our supporters, that we'll we'll always give uh, character, commitment, and uh, an effort for the, the shirt and the group, and uh, and that'll be a, a non-negotiable. And I guess every club has said the same, but uh, you know, I, I think I think last year and think since certainly since I've been in charge, I've, I've I've never I've never really encountered a group here that that haven't left everything on the pitch. They've not they've not been faultless. Uh, we've not. That's all of us. Uh, but you know, we always uh, give 100 percent, and we'll continue to do, continue to do so. And like I said, try and entertain as much as we can. So, Callum, obviously the first weekend you, you're away to Leeds. Does that stir up any emotions? Obviously, your former club. Yeah, of course it does. Um, it's a big game. Obviously, we had a couple of players from our team go over with Brody and um, and Akers and. Yeah, it sets up to be uh, uh, quite a big game, so looking forward to it. We've, we've enjoyed a really good pre-season. Worked on the things that we needed to, and obviously added a couple of players in as well, which, which they suit and benefit of our squad. Obviously, it's one of those kind of games that might mean a lot more towards the end of the season than it does on the weekend. Do you see yourselves competing with the likes of Leeds for a spot in the playoffs this season? Yeah, that's what we're, that's what we're aiming for. Obviously, we want to be successful. And... You know, that's the target for us. We we want to be competing at the top. Uh, you know, Leeds will be looking at the same as well, and many other teams as well. So, for us, it's about you know that first round is about getting into getting into it and getting into a good start, and hopefully lay the platform for the season. Obviously, you find yourself in the dream team last last season, uh, filling it at centre. And is that is that a personal goal that you want to replicate this season? I just want to be consistent and be the best player that I can be uh, for my teammates, and you know, obviously for myself as well. Uh, but also, uh, being a leader and a captain, it's, it's about getting the best out of my other players as well. And you know, we're looking forward to an exciting season, which is great. Um, so it's a new journey for us and a new journey for everybody. So looking forward to it. But for me, I think it's about continuing to work hard, continuing to improve and um, get the best out of everybody else on my team. You speak about getting the best eight teammates and obviously the captain of the club. Does, uh, do, do you and Paul, like, do you... Do you work off the pitch and work on strategy together in the war room kind of saying this is the weekend this is the plan we've got these are what we want to do with the players do you find yourself in that role a bit more nowadays yeah a little bit I think a lot of the time it's a lot of the time it's with the pivots and uh, the guys that want to control the game but on top of that I've got to look at the other side as well and look at the forwards and you know know what their job is job is, uh, what job they need to do and, and you know to be aggressive and to send all the stuff that you need to be and for, for us, it's about working hard. It's about earning the right to play. Uh, we've got a great style of play that we we have to earn at first, and uh, that's really important for for us to lay down on uh, you know this season. Well, Kel, thanks for joining us. Thanks, mate.